Hello. My name is Harumi, and I am here to tell you about what is the APR, Annual Percentage Rate. The term Annual Percentage Rate, APR, also called Nominal APR, and the term Effective April, also called year, describes the interest rate for a whole year, annualized, rather than just a monthly fee rate, as applied on a loan, mortgage loan, credit card, etc. It is a finance charge expressed as an annual rate. Those terms have formal, legal definitions in some countries or legal jurisdictions, but in general. The nominal APR is the simple interest rate, for a year, the effective APR is the fee plus compound interest rate, calculated across a year, the nominal APR is calculated as, the rate, for a payment period, multiplied by the number of payment periods in a year. However, the exact legal definition of effective APR, or ear in short, can vary greatly in each jurisdiction, depending on the type of fees included, such as participation fees, loan origination fees, monthly service charges, or late fees. The effective APR has been called the mathematically true interest rate for each year. The computation for the effective APR, as the fee plus compound interest rate, can also vary depending on whether the upfront fees, such as origination or participation fees, are added to the entire amount, or treated as a short-term loan due in the first payment. When startup fees are paid as first payment, s, the balance due might accrue more interest, as being delayed by the extra payment period, s. In some areas, the annual percentage rate, APR, is the simplified counterpart to the effective interest rate that the borrower will pay on a loan. When not using the term effective APR, the use of APR is an early term for nominal April in many countries and jurisdictions. Lenders, such as banks, are required to disclose the cost of borrowing in some standardized way as a form of consumer protection. APR is intended to make it easier to compare lenders and loan options. The APR is likely to differ from the note rate, or headline rate advertised by the lender, due to the addition of other fees that may need to be included in the April APRS can be found by asking the lender or by reading the appropriate section in the contract. In the US and the UK, lenders are required to disclose the APR before the loan, or credit application, is finalized, although the definition of APR is not the same in the two countries see below. Credit card companies can advertise monthly interest rates, but they are required to clearly state the annual percentage rate before an agreement is signed. APR is a term used with regard to deposit accounts as well. However, when dealing with deposit accounts, the annual percentage yield, app, or annual equivalent rate, is quoted to consumers for comparison purposes.